my god this video i'm so freaking excited to do this video right now because i have manifested some massive freaking things lately and it's by doing this one simple freaking trick like i'm kind of blown away like at how easy it's been and how many times it's been working like i've been manifesting stuff so freaking quickly and i'm gonna tell you exactly how to do it and what to do and some of you may have heard of this before some of you may have not okay but i feel like i'm gonna explain it differently and in a different way so i got you <laughs> Okay, if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Tani Michelle. I do manifestation, spirituality, self-development, all kinds of different videos, astrology as well. So if that's your vibe and you like spiritual shit, then hit the subscribe button down below. We'd love to have you. If this is your first time here, let me know in the comments. If you are returning, let me know in the comments. I would really, really appreciate it. So you guys i'm so freaking excited right now like so much is going on in my life right now it's like insane like i if you haven't seen my video on like my dark feminine era that i've been in lately you should definitely go watch that because it's a vibe also i've been manifesting things like freaking crazy lately okay like out of thin air it's been easy crazy i can't i can't even get over what is happening lately it's literally like instant almost like within like a few days it's been insane okay so i was manifesting a large sum of money okay because there were some things that i wanted to do with it right so i was kind of manifesting this large sum of money and after a couple weeks i was starting to get like really freaking discouraged i was like okay like i know it's coming i feel like it's coming but like where the fuck is it why isn't it here yet and so eventually i was like okay i realized that i had attached to it too much i kind of had this like clingy needy desperate energy which is actually really repelling when we are talking about manifestation, when we get too attached to something, when we get into this needy energy, it repels a lot of the time. I realized I was in that energy and then I forgot something like one of the most important things about manifestation is this is supposed to be fun. This is supposed to be light, right? Like, like enjoy the fucking process. You already know it's going to come. And so basically I got to this point where I like realized I was frustrated and I was like, okay, 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 hold on. Why am I so frustrated? Like I realized it was because I got I felt like I needed it at that point and it's like okay well what am I scared of and I was like scared of like well what if it doesn't come sometime soon and then I was like okay well what if it doesn't you're not losing anything it's already not here you already know what it feels like to not have it so what are you really scared of <laughs> you're scared to not have something that you don't already have like what because so much of the time we do that shit like we're like oh my god i need this thing we get all butt hurt and shit about it and we are like oh this isn't working i give up yada 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 and then we end up realizing like oh wait you already know what it feels like not to have that that's how you know you want it right but you've already felt what it feels like so there's no reason to be scared of that now because you're already feeling it now right you don't have it now so you're already feeling what it's like to not have it right now why are you scared of something you're already freaking feeling basically right so when i realized that, i was like oh and i was able to get to this point where i was like okay fuck it like if it comes it comes if it doesn't it doesn't and boom that right there when i got to that place of neutrality it literally detached me from it and guess freaking what because i did not know how this money was going to come in okay i did not know like it was a large sum of money and i like i knew it was coming i could feel it i was manifesting it but i was like i don't know how it's gonna come in like i'm not seeing a clear a clear path just yet the next freaking day dude the next freaking day so that happened one night and then the following morning okay i get a freaking call <laughs> from a an organization that ended up owing me money and it was so random and i couldn't even believe it i was like what <laughs> what and it was like thousands of dollars i was like okay if this is true if this happens if it does come and something doesn't fuck it up or whatever it'll probably like take a couple months and again, I just kind of detached like, yeah, I would like it, but like, I'm good without it either way, basically, right? The next freaking day after that, it came and I was like, what the fuck? Like, what? What is happening right now? Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, I had just freaking detached. I had just freaking like, 
let it go and then it came life is so freaking funny like that sometimes where that happens where you just let it go and it comes or you don't care and it happens right but when you start caring it feels like nails on a chalkboard <laughs> like you're driving with the freaking brake on like the emergency brake on and you're just trying and trying and trying but you're not freaking getting anywhere or you're hardly moving you know like Oh my God, it's, it gets frustrating, but manifestation, like if you're at that point in your manifestation process, that's probably why it's frustrating. You become too attached. Like you're not having fun with it anymore. Like you have to have one foot in the now you have to have one foot in this present moment and be embracing the present moment. You have one foot in the now and one foot in the future, one foot in your desired reality, right? And you enjoy and embrace this present moment and i know it's hard because that gap is there between your future between the reality that you're manifesting that you can like visualize and see versus where you're at right now so you're like how is this gap going to close like i'm not i don't get it you know like it it feels like such a big gap and so i get it it can be hard to be able to have fun in the present but you have to find a way to just basically say fuck it basically let go basically surrender and just let almost like let your manifestation go it doesn't mean that you don't want it it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen it doesn't mean that you don't still desire it you're just saying okay i'm not clinging to this anymore like it, you become okay with the possibility of it not happening because that's what you don't want to face that's what you're resisting and that resistance and that clinging to your manifestation is what's repelling it, right? Like you can have shitty emotions, you can have all that, but as soon as you work through that, it comes, right? It's not that every shitty emotion is going to repel your manifestation because that's not true. Like you work through things, like there's times where I'm manifesting and I have shitty emotions, but I still know, like even then I still knew it was coming, but I was also like, you know, having some resistance and having some desperation and clinginess and like I was like attaching too much to it like oh I'm only gonna be happy when that gets here and it's like no and so I let it go and I got back into the now and once I got back into the now and I was like okay like I'm good like I'm already good like I don't like need this like I think I do like I'm, I get back into my power and then boom right and the same thing just freaking happened again you guys I don't want to share it all the way yet but I had been manifesting something for a while and it just was not happening and so I kind of was just like okay screw it like I'm not gonna worry about this right now anymore like I I have other stuff I had other stuff going on so I kind of just like left it again like just kind of let it go right after like literally like a week or two ago it ends up falling into my freaking lap like when i least expected it and i was like again like what the f like what is happening right now like and it's been so easy and it's looking like it's like for sure gonna happen like it's really really looking like it's gonna happen and i'm like oh my god like it's all just happening so synchronistically and so easy like out of nowhere like i can't even get over it i'm like how is this even freaking possible right now and like again I just let it go and even when I ugh, I wish I could just like give you the details but I can't right now but I will in another video soon but like when I first found out about it I decided to pursue it I pursued it but I didn't care I was like okay I'm gonna pursue this and I kind of honestly I kind of had it in the back of my mind like it probably won't work out like I'll pursue it but it probably isn't gonna work out so whatever and I just kind of went into this with with this like neutral I don't care like we'll see what happens attitude like just didn't even care and out of all people I'm the one that ends up basically getting offered what this is they want to give it to me <laughs> and I'm like I don't even like I don't know so now I'm trying to decide because I really had it like all the way planned for it you know and so I'm like oh my god but again like I just kind of let it go and was like we'll see you know like I wasn't attached to it and here we are and i'm like super freaking excited about it like i can't even i can't even i'm gonna end up probably like vlogging the process too like let me know down below you guys because i'm thinking about doing like a vlogmas type thing this year it probably won't be like daily because <laughs> I'm too busy for all that. It'll probably be like maybe weekly or a couple times a week or something like that. I'm excited to do something like that. I've been loving doing like different types of videos and just being my free badass self on here. So anyways, this is supposed to be fun. Like manifestation is supposed to be fun and light. Try it. See what fucking happens. It can't fucking hurt anything, right? Like, yes, 
Sometimes manifestation can bring up shit that you need to work through that is blocking you from being on the same frequency as what you want to manifest, right? But, and I actually have a, like a whole nother video I'm going to do about that eventually too, but, and that's like dealing with polarity and being able to hold polarity and hold the voids that you go through, hold those in-between spaces. A lot of the times those in-between spaces, those gaps end up bringing up what you need to release that is actually going to transform you into the person that has what you desire, right? Because that person that has what you desire is at a different state of consciousness than you are now, or else you would already have it. So how do you get to that other state of consciousness, right? You you have to have some realizations, have some experiences that get you there, right? And sometimes those experiences can be releasing certain things, letting certain things go, or uh, facing certain things within yourself. And this is why a lot of the times when people start manifesting, they may think that they're manifesting like the opposite or something other than what they originally like thought they were manifesting, you know? And it doesn't mean that it's not working. It actually means that it is, okay? But I have another video coming out about that soon, but it's a little bit more intermediate manifestation level. So that's why I haven't released it yet. So let me know if you're excited to see that though. Let me know down below what you guys thought about what I shared in this video. My manifestation program, Manifest Her, is happening now very soon so if you would like to sign up for manifest her it's like everything you need to know about manifestation and being a bad bitch at manifestation quantum manifestation feminine energy and manifestation like it is a month-long program we will meet every week and go really really in depth and I'm super, super excited. There will be like a pre-sale and all of that. So if you're interested, see the description below. And yeah, I love you guys. I will see you guys soon.